And coming up next, we have Timmy Alexis Carrington Ward with Here She Is. quite a few leses actually but I don't like them they leave a nasty taste in my mouth I said it Ooh. anyway what are you doing here we're not allowed to have family members around our own house during this coronavirus period no it's all right I've, I've come around to clean your house I've come as a cleaner I told your father apparently you're allowed to do that the government said cheeky piece as if my house needs cleaning anyway how do I know you well, apart from giving birth to you, silly bitch, I came round the other day. Remember, you took me shopping to the supermarket. Hurry up, Ma. Les, hurry up. We've got to get to the shops before it gets too busy. And don't forget, put on your mask. Ma. What have you got on your face? It's my mask, darling. Safety first. Come on. My husband and I, we're doing the right old thing during this coronavirus period. I mean, when we go shopping, we put masks on. We went the other day, though, mind, and um, we got home, took the masks off. I brought the wrong husband home. Stay alert, everyone. <laughs> Good evening, and now it's time for the Here She Is News. We start the news tonight with a warning from the NHS for people to stop listening to artists such as Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole and Sammy Davis Jr. over fears that they might contract coronavirus. We're told today that Mick Hucknall has refused to give his family a lockdown haircut. He was quoted as saying, he's holding back the shears. A survey out today on homeschooling has shown that parents can keep up with a third of their children's maths but are struggling with the other three quarters. With the lockdown being lifted and children going back to school imminently, 
teachers have been advised to help the transition of the children going back into the classroom by throwing in occasionally a couple of for fuck's sake do what you fucking want and I'm doing my fucking best here and that's the end of the news for tonight so it's good night from me and it's good night from mummy good, good night, night. Welcome to my bed, Les Carrington Ward. Or otherwise. Known as Mummy. Well, thank you, Timmy. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Now, do you want a drink? Well, actually, uh, if you don't mind, I need to get on and carry on cleaning. Is that all right? Sounds like a carry on film. Well, you said it. Oh, all right then. Well, I want a drink. Okay. And I'll send you on your way too. I'll see you at the comedy clips section. I said it. Wait there. Oh, now that's much better. Oh, I needed that. Right, let's get some proper guests on the bed then, shall we? Right, who am I going to speak to first? Let's have back Duncan James from Blue, but without his blouse this time. Hey, Timmy. Hello, Dunks. Oh. Right, let's have Cheryl ah. Baker from Buck's Fizz. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Miss Baker. Cheers. Let's have a doctor next. Let's have Dr. David Ball. Hello, Timmy. Hello, doctor. Vocal coach next, I think. Let's have vocal coach to the stars, Zoe Tyler. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Zoe. Let's have BBC Radio London's broadcaster, Petri Oskins next. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Pedro. Bit of glamour after her, shall we? Let's have tight fits. Denise Waterman. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Denise. Um, what about Janet Ellis from Blue Peter? Hello, Timmy. Hello, Janet. And let's finish off with, might as well have him here, Sky News anchorman Stephen Dixon. Hi, Timmy. Hello, Stevie Dix. Right. Let's start off the questions with ooh, the guy without the blouse, Duncan. Right, I know you're living with your mum at the moment during isolation. How's that going for you? Um, do you know what? In all seriousness, um, actually getting on really well with my mum. Mummy's boy. There's been times in my life where it's been difficult to be in the same capacity, the same space for long periods of time. Capacity? Is that the right word, darling? Silly bitch. Because we're so close, we're so similar, and we do bash heads in the past. Sounds rude. Actually, I think because we're all in this together. We're all in this together. Oh, I love that music, Will. And we just have to get on and accept that we're quarantining together. We've actually been having a lovely time. We've been cooking, we've been doing little bits of exercise each day. Mm, Should have done. Um, we've been watching loads, loads and loads of Netflix, sorry, popcorn. Charming. Loads and loads of Netflix and stuff on our television. Oh, have you watched The Nest? BBC, it's amazing. We watched that. No, I haven't watched The Nest. But I wouldn't mind settling down with you, dear. Should have done. We watched The Lion, uh, the, not The Lion King, The Tiger King. Lion King's a musical, silly bitch. You said it. Tiger King. So yeah, we've been watching lots of that. Mm, you're very similar to him and all, darling. In fact, I think you're more, well, you're more Tiger Queen, girl. I said it. I can't compete with that. Now, Zoe Tyler, what have you been up to since lockdown? What have I been doing in lockdown? That's what I said. Lots of things, really. Started off with huge good intentions, like everybody else. Um, ordered a stepper. Go on, that's got its work cut out. Got that, um, went on it for a couple of days and now I get off it after five minutes because it hurts. Not half as much as I bet you're hurting it, dear. Um, got a big red ball. Who hasn't? To do my sit-ups on. Sounds rude. And uh, that's now in the garage. So started off with all good intentions to come out of this lockdown looking like a different person. Good luck. Like Adele. 
but never happened. I could tell, darling. I think you've got it back to front by the looks of things. Every time she laughed, it took an hour for everything to settle. Cheers to that. Speaking of cheers... Dr David Ball, have you been drinking more since isolation? Do I think I'm drinking more in isolation? Um, no. You and me both. No, not at all. I mean, obviously, it's only seven in the morning. Well, it's a rough old time, isn't it, darling? Um, well, what else is there to do? You know, the days are very long. You get to the evening, you then think, well, it's five o'clock. I might as well have a martini or a gin or, or something else. Cheers to that, darling. I'm a bit drunk now. Who isn't? Now, Denise Waterman, who is your fantasy lockdown person you'd like to be with? Definitely Steve and Julie from Tight Fit. Oh, two people, greedy bitch. They are my fantasy island friends. I can't go out with anyone else. It's going to have to be them. <sighs> Nothing cheesy at all about that, Denise Waterman. You empty-headed Mary Poppins knockoff. Moving on swiftly. Now, Gerald Baker, what have you learnt about yourself during isolation? What have I learnt about myself in isolation? Yeah, that's what I said, darling. Well, I have learnt that in isolation, it's very difficult to get your roots done. You said it. So now you know I'm not a natural blonde. <laughs> because obviously you did think I was, didn't you? Um, and that I adore my family because they're all here with me and that I rather like gardening. Oh. And I love being with my kids when they're cooking because they've done most of the food. Go on, they've got their work cut out. And I love going out and walking and jogging. Christ, I hope you warned the council. So I'm actually having quite a nice time. There's quite a few things there, Cheryl, making you happy. You want to make your mind up. <laughs> I said it. Some jokes are timeless. Cheers, Cheza. Anyway, speaking of cheers, Pedro, Petri Hoskins, BBC Radio London. What's your favourite tipple during lockdown? Um, my favourite tipple uh, since lockdown, I've got a bit of a, a thing for scotch at the moment. Oh! That's quite a manly drink. So, yeah, I drink a bit of whiskey. Well, I've got my, my weekly plan. Well, it ain't down Weight Watchers by the looks of things, girl. I said it. So, uh, Thursdays, it's gin and tonic day. Friday is usually uh, beer day. Oh, another manly drink. Um, possibly some whiskey. But Saturday is my whiskey day, and that's my favourite. So that's my routine. Mm, I think we're looking at an alcoholic, Pedro. Mm, I'm afraid I have to agree with that. Anyway, speaking of bad habits like what Pedro's got, Janet, have you picked up any bad habits during the lockdown? My bad habits. I don't know if it's a bad habit, but it's a new habit. Every time I go past a jogger, I hold my breath. Oh, who doesn't? I hate them, Janet. Taxi. I also give them a hard stare, but... Should have done. I'm a walker. What can I tell you? People say I'm a walker too. I think that's what they say. And I have the papers to prove it. Anyway. Let's go to our last guest, Stephen Dixon from Sky News. He's the anchor man there and he's now working from home. So how does it feel working from home, Stevie Dix? Well, I'm sort of quite enjoying working from home. Mmm, it's a shame your viewers aren't. Um, I get all the work done. I don't have to travel to London, which is about 80 miles away. And I don't have to speak to any real people. And I bet they're happy for it, girl. What else can I say? Make it interesting, whatever it is, girl. Still get all the work done. Um, 
and I get to present the programme wearing my pants, which is quite refreshing. Oh, darling, that's a vision I can't get out of my head now. Christ! And I can pop and get a decent cup of coffee anytime I like. I love it, actually. Oh, I'm glad I'm not your window cleaner, darling. I said it. I could vomit just looking at you. Anyway, all of you, thank you so much for being guests on my show. And now, at the end of it, I like to take a little selfie. So all say cheese, please. Cheese! cheese. Here we are, welcome back, Les. You've done all the cleaning? Nearly there. Well, keep up the good work, girl. I said it. Right, this is my comedy clip section, Les. Do you know about it? Oh, yes, of course you do. You've watched my show, haven't you, girl? Yes, I have. Should have done. Um, anyway, this is Shirley Bassey. She's um, come to collect a prize off Chris Tarrant. Gets a little bit awkward, let's put it that way. Should have done. Okay, do you want to watch it, Les? Let's go. I'm delighted to be presenting this Avenue star to the one and only Dame Shirley Bassey. Dame Shirley Bassey, ladies. Bless you. There she is. There she is. Thank you. Thanks, girls. She's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. There they are, all applauding her. So, can I go now? Thank you. Toya, it's a mystery why I haven't won it. I'll wear it on my tip. That'll be funny, won't it, Les? Well, I could have given you two if I'd known. Oh, Chris, you no. dirty bitch. Do you realise I'm standing on water? I just walked on water. I stood, but it's terrifying. Can you get me off, please? <laughs> so embarrassing. Why are you looking at me so strange? Well, <laughs> well I was just going to—you were going to sort of say thank you and was I go off and have a drink with Doddy? <laughs> nobody said. Nobody said. I just Somebody said thank you. have a drink with Doddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going bad, Shirley. Okay, thank okay. you, bless her. Thank you, Shirley Bassey. Thank you. See you, Shirley. Get off. Yeah, I'm off. Oh, that went quite well, Shirley. Look at Chris. No idea. No idea. No, no idea. No, no idea. Tell it me. Where's she gone? Speaking of no idea. Oh, I know where she is. She's probably cleaning the toilet. I'm going to give her a Timmy toilet show. I said it. This is one of my Timmy's toilet shows. You're very talented. When will I see you again? Well, anyone who doesn't like this is a silly bitch. When will we share precious moments? Will I have to wait? I don't know. Your daddy doesn't talk about you, is golf club. Will I have to suffer and cry the whole night through? When will I see you again? When will I see you again? Sweet, sweet. I've got to carry on cleaning, Timmy. But you carry on, I'll listen to you. When will I see you again? You said it. Now, what is it you say to your viewers and things? Subscribe? Yes, everyone should subscribe, whatever that is. My son's brilliant. <laughs> I said it. <laughs>